It was the story that stunned the nation. A 14-year-old girl electrocuted while using her cell phone in the bathtub. You're not supposed to bury your babies. Madison Coe's family says soaking in the bathtub while listening to music and playing games on her phone was one of her guilty pleasures. Went in to tell Maddie that it was time to get out so we could go to bed. And I called her name, she didn't answer. They found Maddie in the tub. Her stepmom and father, both medical professionals who know CPR, tried all they could to revive her, but it was too late. Electrical engineer Steve Fowler set up this demonstration with our Lisa Guerrero. What exactly happens when you accidentally drop a cell phone in the water? We're reading nothing, absolutely zero. Okay, so just dropping a phone by itself into a bathtub is not going to kill anybody. No. No. So far, so good. But what happens when the cell phone is attached to an extension cord, particularly one that's frayed, which is exactly what happened to Madison? So now the frayed part is in there. The electricity is off the charts. Oh boy, it's moving. Yeah, so that's... Wow. wow. This person would be dead in the bathtub right now. That's right. This person would be dead. The same thing happens when we drop other common okay. bathroom items into the bathtub like a curling iron. Oh boy, it's going crazy. A hair straightener. The entire tub is electrified. In case the message isn't clear enough. Anything plugged into the wall should not be near a bathtub. That's a message this grieving family would like to echo. We're all so attached to our cell phones and our electronic devices and games and our beautiful angel is gone.